Okay, in this video, we will be discussing about allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. It is a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, we know that. There is involvement of IgE in the pathogenesis. It is a you know, disease in which there is eosinophilic inflammation. The eosinophilia can be found in the periphery also. But what is more important is that we find eosinophilia in the in the uh, pulmonary infiltrates in the in the pulmonary parenchyma itself so there is eosinophilic infiltration it is a part of abpa is a part of pulmonary disorders with eosinophilia syndrome complex right so in tissue we do biopsy or we do bronchialveolar lavage or in sputum we will find eosinophils in abpa risk factors bronchial asthma cystic fibrosis and chronic granulomatous disease these are the risk factors that need to be remembered bronchial asthma cystic fibrosis chronic granulomatous disease clinical features okay clinical features we find that there is difficulty in treating underlying conditions like bronchial asthma and cystic fibrosis on standard treatment guidelines the patient do not improve uh, then we should suspect that there must be some other cause and most important cause that can be present is abpa there is bronchiectasis also right bronchiectasis cylindrical which is also a tubular proximal more than peripheral predominantly in upper lobes so bronchiectasis can be present in uh, in in abpa patients in investigations we do immunoglobulin e levels in the periphery we do cbc for uh, uh, checking out absolute eosinophil counts we do chest x-ray pa view we will find that there is finger in glove sign now what do we mean by finger in glove sign okay suppose this is the you know lung field these are the bronchioles you know dividing into so there will be you know uh, so much accumulation of mucus that it will give the appearance of finger in gloves fingers in gloves in a glove so finger in glove sign is seen in chest x-ray pa view there is evidence of bronchiectasis on chest x-ray as well as hrct now there are two signs of bronchiectasis which are pathognomonic uh, on hrct one is a signaling sign second is the tram track sign they are basically present because of dilatation and destruction of the bronchioles uh, secondary to repeated instruction and inflammation repeated in a, uh, infection and inflammation the dilated bronchi or bronchioles are seen as tram tracks or signaling signaling is when we you know do the cross section of tram tracks right so we will see signet rings these are the tram tracks two bronchi bronchioles dilated and destructed right tram tracks when we cut them into you know cross section so we will see signet rings so these are the findings on chest x ray and hrct in abpa isham criteria is used for diagnosis of abpa isham and there are uh, various kinds of criteria in the isham criteria one is the obligatory criteria first of first one there are two obligatory criteria and both of them should be present predisposing conditions should be present one out of two two predisposing conditions are there one is 
cystic fibrosis second is the bronchiolisthema either one of the two should be present in predisposing conditions and other criteria include uh, there are there is a list of other criteria also there are five six criteria and two out of those uh, sorry there are three criteria and two out of those three criteria should be present so isham criteria is used for diagnosis what is the treatment the treatment is corticosteroids antifungals what is the drug of choice corticosteroids are used uh, corticosteroids are basically the drug of choice they have to be have to be given in a patient of abpa along with that we give antifungals we do not give one of uh, the two we give both of them both of them concurrent because they have more efficacy what are the corticosteroids that we use we can use prednisone or prednisolone obviously adjustment of dose as far as prednisolone is concerned we give 0.5 mg of prednisolone per kg per day for 14 days then we you know lower the dose by 0.5 mg per kg every alternate day right then we continue this for 3 months then we reduce the dose further and taper down completely by 3 months antifungals we use itraconazole right what is the dose 200 mg bd for 16 weeks right this is the dose of itraconazole alternative of itraconazole is voriconazole or we can use isavoconazole isavoconazole so this is all the first line treatment if this doesn't work we give second line treatment it is n t i g e omelizumab so to revise what is avpa allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis fungal infection uh, and more precisely allergic fungal uh, allergic to fungal infection type 1 hypersensitivity reaction is there involvement of immunoglobulin e and eosinophilic inflammation risk factors are bronchial asthma cystic fibrosis chronic granulomatous disease difficulty in treating underlying conditions are the uh, clinical features uh, the for example bronchial asthma which is not controlled on regular medications uh, that may point towards the allergic bron bronchopulmonary aspergillosis second is the bronchiectasis Uh, disease can present like bronchiectasis investigations we do ige levels we do cbc we do chest x ray pa chest x ray pa will show finger in glove sign and there can be evidence of bronchiectasis that is signature ring sign and tram track sign one important thing that we missed last time is fleeting pulmonary opacities which means that for example on one x ray there was opacity in here on subsequent x ray the opacity you know shifts towards the hilum on subsequent x ray the uh, opacity may be at the upper lobe these opacities are basically because of mucus mucus can deposit anywhere in the you know lung parenchyma so there is obviously a change of radio opacity in location from one point to another so there is a shifting of opacities which is known as fleeting pulmonary opacities diagnosis by isham criteria isham criteria itself involves includes three other criteria which are obligatory criteria predisposing conditions and other criteria obligatory criteria are two and two of two must be present predisposing conditions are two one must be present out of two other criteria are three and two must be present out of those three treatment includes corticosteroids and antifungals for the purpose of mcq this someone asked what is the drug of choice for mba it is obviously corticosteroids 0.5 mg per kg per day to start with 
we taper off by three months. Antifungals are also uh, must to be given along with corticosteroids. We use itracortin conazole 200 mg PD for 16 weeks. If doesn't work, voriconazole. If doesn't work, isabuconazole. If this first line treatment doesn't work, we give second line treatment that is omelizumab. Right. So that is all about AVPA. Thank you. Thank you so much for your patient listening.